Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I have got a concept that I have no idea how it's going to go, actually. Um, it's an idea that was suggested to me by uh, Moto Man on Discord. Uh, he said, just try doing a couple of the tracks backwards and see how it goes. And I'd be lying if I said I haven't tried this once or twice already, just in servers randomly with my mates. Um, and one of the ones that I've tried it on that it works quite well on, uh, as you can see that I'm on today, is on Washougal. Um, the only downside with this is I'm not going to be able to track lap times or anything like that because I don't think the timer will work properly. Um, but I suppose the only goal really for this video is just going to be see if I can uh, run a, a semi-decent lap running the track around the wrong way. And uh, in homage to uh, Aiden today, I am riding the 450 Suzuki. Uh, a couple of you have said to try a few of the different 450s uh, in the game, as I've really only tried the CR out for the most part. So I'll try the Suzuki, especially since uh, Aiden's such a big advocate of it. Um, I tried the 250 Suzuki on Lyrop before, um, which some of you might have seen, um, but I haven't dove too much into the uh, 450 side of things. Um, I was meant to be recording uh, a Supercross race today. Uh, not the main PDSX series, but there was a series being hosted by uh, Race Sim Gaming. Um, but there was just some issues with some of the servers um, and not enough people turned up, so they made the decision to cancel it, which was a bit of a shame. <laughs> yeah, I'd done the uh, qualifying in the heat race and I actually managed to uh, lap all the way up to P2 in the heat race, which was quite funny. Uh, I was just really using it overall as some practice. Uh, for the PDSX series. Um, today is, what is today? Today's Tuesday, um, so I'm just trying to get a little bit more practicing in on the 450s for some, super, some Supercross for Thursday, which is when PDSX is. Um, just need to rebound a bit after the first race of the series. <laughs> um, I thought I was P8, but in the results it shows me as P7, so I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, I don't know if certain cuts came into it or if maybe someone got disqualified or anything like that. Um, I mean, for most most people, be quite happy with an eighth. Oh, <laughs> that's eight shit. Uh, most people be quite happy with an eighth, but um, and I I think I set might set too high standards for myself. But at the end of the day, I want to be uh, battling for the championship in the last few rounds of the series, and an eighth place isn't how you do it. So, we need to improve those positions overall, uh, and that's only going to come with more more practice and more time on the 450 and on the supercross tracks. Um, a lot of the uh, earlier supercross tracks that got released. Um, I haven't played too much of because I joined the super the aerial supercross series about halfway through. Um, I I want to say like Arlington one was my first one. Um, there's so many so many of them start with an A's in there like Arlington and Atlanta. I think there's another one that starts with an A as well. I can never remember which one's which. But um, yeah, that was all on 250s anyway. So um, you you know the track, but how you approach each section. Uh, on a 450 compared to 250 is completely different. Um, but yeah, just want to get some more practice in overall. Uh, I don't think I'll shift away from the, the CR in the actual races, it's just nice to have a little try on some different bikes here and there. And um, one, one thing I've noticed about this Suzuki as I've been riding it as well is it's not slow by any means. You definitely notice that it's not quite as powerful as the Honda is. Um, that actually works quite well. One, because 450s is very very hard to use all the power of in this game. Uh, you just tend to slide out a lot and a lot of the time you have to tiptoe around the track and whereas on this Suzuki where it's not as powerful you see you can be a bit more aggressive and ride it more like a 250. So I suppose depending on your style and which you prefer it can end up either being a good or a bad thing. Um, I like to... oh my god what was that freeze? I'm in solo, solo right now not even in a server. I'm just waiting one of these days my computer is going to completely explode. <laughs> And um, yeah, then there'll be no videos for anybody, uh, and it will be rather expensive. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> um, I, one thing I did notice actually when I was doing my live streaming the other day um, is how much my PC was struggling. I did have to turn the the graphics down a bit and the quality of the stream down more than I would like. Um, but yeah, caught in that uh, like hard spot in the moment of saving up to. Uh, to move out, as well as wanting to spend a couple thousand on a new PC. It's always a struggle, but I've got to try and restrain myself. Um, yeah, going back to this uh, this whole lot of idea and concept, um, shout out again Moto Man for suggesting this. Uh, I'm always open to some video idea suggestions in the comments. Um, it'd be nice to see what you guys kind of want, what you enjoy most on the channel, uh, if there's any series that you most prefer. I had um, 
someone comment earlier saying that they really like the live qualifying videos that I do. Uh, I just think it gives me a bit more of an insight on, on what I'm thinking at the time, which you, you don't always get on a lot of, uh, a lot of videos. And I've only just noticed this is really terrible of me that I've got no speed on map. That's awkward. Uh, I took a screenshot in the um, heat race of the Supercross uh, one that got cancelled uh, just for the thumbnail and completely forgot to turn it back on, so I apologise for that. Hopefully that's all good now. Uh, don't, don't, don't kill me for that. Um, I'm surprised I was even even riding without the, uh, the gears and the speed. I'm usually always looking at to see what gear I'm in. Oh god, we're sending that. Oh, survive. Let's see, I've been watching that, um, that Linz guy and his tutorials about landing front wheel high. And how you can survive big uh, big OJs. You should check him out. He's uh, he's all right. You know, he's pretty cool. Bit of a shit accent. Um, his mic's not the greatest, and he runs out of things to talk about after a while. Uh, the the information he's got is pretty good, pretty accurate. So uh, <laughs> give it a watch. Um, speaking of um, bins, actually, as a whole, the channel. Um, I said in my live stream the other day that the, the subs have slowed down a bit, which I, I fully expected. It seems like a lot of the bike streamers are just ab about that 2k mark, just over 2k. Um, but I'm still seeing that, that steady increase. Like, it's definitely not 100 a day like it was when I first started. Um, but it's still moving. It's, it's probably about 20 or 30 a day at the moment. Uh, although saying that, I did gain about 40 just in that live stream by itself. So um, maybe I'll do a few... Uh, well, maybe I'll do a few more streams outside of the Sundays that I originally planned, uh, just to boost them numbers up. Um, but one thing that I have started doing now, um, which I'm, I'm not sure about, so you'll have to let me know how you guys feel about it, is in the description of these videos I'm putting the uh, top donor, or top donors, sorry, multiple plural, um, in the description, just as a bit of like recognition for them, because at the moment I can't really like, I can't offer anything I suppose in terms of I don't know what other YouTubers do, they don't have like Patreon or anything like that. Um, and just kind of show some sort of appreciation for the uh, for the donations and how much it means to me. I thought it would be nice to give them a little bit of recognition in the descriptions. Um, I don't know if that almost seems like cheap or it's almost encouraging others to do so. So I, I'm very, very grateful to fellows that do, but please don't feel like I'm literally asking for it. I just wanted the uh, people that have donated just to be recognised a bit and just say thanks really at the end of the day because it, it does mean a lot and I didn't uh, anticipate it, anything at all. Uh, it was just one of my friends that told me to set up the, the whole link in the first place which I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm very grateful for so thank you to everyone that uh, does support um, whether it's monetary or not. Um, all the kind words in the comments on each video I, I read through. Um, a bit harder to <laughs> reply to everyone now, the, the channel's growing a bit and the, there's more comments uh, per video. But they, they do all get taken in. I've got the notifications going to my phone, so I'll see them then anyway. And um, speaking of notifications overall, uh, I will be... So, so I've, I've said in a lot of previous videos I see my uh, girlfriend uh, one weekend a month. Um, actually, this time round, I will be going away from Friday to Monday. Um, but then she will be coming back with me um, all the way until the following Thursday. So... You bear me two seconds, this is a bit unprofessional. Let me check my phone and I'll give you the exact dates. Um, so, dates, 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 uh, calendar. So, I will actually be not making videos from the 25th of uh, June all the way through to the 1st of July. So, I will try to reply to as many comments as I can. However, just be aware that I will be uh, otherwise occupied. Uh, and if, if, say for example, there's any um, recommended changes in any of the videos, let's say maybe I'll, I'll, I want the music to be completely gone or louder or quieter or anything like that, um, they won't be implemented uh, until I get back so to speak because I'm trying to pre-record a bunch to just keep up the whole uh, whole one video day. Um, it's not a rule I've set myself but I just think it, it kind of really contributes to um, channel growth if you keep, keep a video a day. It's like when people try streaming on Twitch and it's, it's best to have kind of set times when, you, when you're expected to be about. Um, I've experimented the last uh, couple of days on upload times as well. Uh, usually I have it at 8 a.m. for the uh, the UK in the UK time at least. Uh, I feel like it gives everyone kind of the full day to, to watch the videos. But I did experiment with uh, a couple of 5 p.m. ones uh, the last few days. And they just didn't seem to do as well overall. I'm, I'm guessing people are just busy at certain times of the day. So I think I'll go back to the 8 a.m. I mean, that way it depends <laughs> whatever time of day you wake up at, you get to. Uh, 
get to have a watch of the video, whether you're, you're out at work or if you're at school at the moment. Although I don't know what school times are like nowadays, I don't know if it's a, a half term or a break or anything. Um, but yeah, as long as you guys have something to watch each day, I'm, I'm happy with that. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll keep doing that for as, as long as I can until the content runs dry. And I think that's the point where I'll probably branch out and uh, maybe go to some other motorbike games, not full time of course, um, but just tr to fill in some blanks here and there, um, give some of the other games a bit of love as well. Uh, I did try playing uh, MX Simulator the other day for about 10 minutes or so, and what a fall from grace is. I went from winning a couple of championships um, a few years ago to now not even being able to achieve like that double there. Couldn't even do that sort of double. It's mad how quickly your uh, your muscle memory fades when you start putting a lot of time into a different different game. Um, so I think that'll probably be the last game that I go back to. Um, but the more arcadey ones, I'll um, I'll love to give them a go because there's so many that I haven't played as well. Um, I haven't played a lot of the GP games. Haven't played all of uh, the Monster Energy Supercross games except for number four. Um, for maybe about half hour because I sucked at that as well. I <laughs> uh, haven't played all out before, so yeah, there's so many possibilities in there, so I definitely want to uh, try expanding the horizons at some point. Uh, keep it motocross related, because uh, that's what we're all here for at the end of the day, is for motorbikes. That's what we love, that's what we enjoy, that's why we play this game. Uh, so yeah, I'm. Uh, that's the plan for the future at least, is uh, bleak this game till it's dry, and then, <laughs> and then mix things up a little bit. And I have just completely messed myself up there. <laughs> Set the marker in the fence. Let's see where we reset. Oh, back at the beginning. Okay. So, where's. Oh, God, where am I? I don't want to do that. Let me go back to the track. Let me try. Right, I'm going to turn around and go back to the, uh, the finish line. I feel like I've just been waffling for the last. I don't know how long this video's gone for. Um, but I've just been waffling for ages now. Let me actually try and focus on the track and see if I can run a, a fast lap on this track backwards. Um, I think by the. I can't remember if I've crashed lots or not, or not, where I've been talking so much, but I don't think I have. Which, if that's the case, that kind of tells me that this uh, this works quite well. And as someone who has put uh, like an ungodly amount of hours into Washington, it's the track that I played the most when I first got the game. Uh, literally every day for a couple of hours I was playing this track trying to beat my time. Uh, it's def it definitely makes uh, the track a bit more interesting when you know every inch of it, uh, when trying to run it backwards. Let me see if I can put down a heater as like my last lap of the video, then I'll sign off and uh, leave you guys for the rest of your evening or whatever time you'll be watching this. Let me know what time of day it is in the comments as well when you're watching this, because uh, I'll be very interested to see if any of you are, are early risers. I feel like the majority of it will be midday and onwards, and there'll be a couple of you that are like me and have awful sleeping patterns. Oh, survive! And it might be like three or four a.m. in the morning. Uh, my, my sleeping pattern at the moment is awful. I, I so I work from nine to five, so I usually wake up about about half eight. So I work from home at the moment just because of COVID and everything. My um, usual office is closed, um, so I work. I wake up about half eight, work from nine until five, uh, sleep for an hour <laughs> because I went to bed so late again. Um, uh, probably record some videos, do some editing until maybe one two a.m. and then repeat the process. So at the moment I'm technically sleeping twice a day. <laughs> um, it's all right. I'm surviving. It's keeping me going. Uh, let me know. Uh, let me know what you're doing with your lives at the moment as well, because I, I haven't dove too much into seeing what my what's the word for it. Basically, my audience kind of like ages and well, I suppose that's it really. It's just just, just the ages of you guys and what you do if you work, if you're at school at the moment. Uh, it'd be nice to get to know some of you a little bit better as well. I'm on a good lap right now, even though the laps don't count. Oh! <laughs> you know what? I, I reckon I could put together a compilation of the amount of times I say, this is going well, or this feels really fast, and then I crash the next corner. <laughs> it's, um, I just jinx myself a lot. And two corners left to go, and I'm going to wrap it up, because I feel like I've done a good four or five laps or so. I need to like set a timer and just see how long I've been recording for because I, I never know until I end up watching the uh, well, watching the footage back and uploading it. Um, but th but that will do it today. It's a bit of a um, no specific topic really. I just thought I'd see if th this whole uh, concept worked of trying to ride some tracks backwards, which it clearly does. Um, that was that was quite a lot of the fun and the fact that I could just play while while talking and nothing went drastically wrong um, seems like it could be a good concept. So if if you've liked this, you know what I always say: please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, leave a comment below if there's any other tracks you'd like to see me run backwards. 
Uh, one thing I do still need to do is upload a video on uh, bloody what's the track Walnut. The amount of people that ask me to run a, like a fast lap on Walnut, and I haven't even downloaded the track yet. So that's something on my to-do list. Um, so yeah, please uh, please leave a like, please subscribe if you haven't done so. Um, I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time of day it is for you. Thank you for the support as always. Um, please leave me some feedback in the comments on the few things I've discussed in this video, i.e. donations, tracks, content, just how you feel about the channel overall. Um, and that's it. Uh, until next time, I will catch you guys later. So, peace.